We like to ride a fine line between paying respect to Shakespeare's original story and, um, and parody. We took a lot more liberty in this particular one because there wasn't an expectation of the audience coming in. So for this, uh, really, we start at the very beginning. So for me, all the concepts and all the ideas began with the text. Um, and then evolved from there. And they evolved when we talked about the scenery, when we talked about the costumes, when we talked about the movement, when we talked about just how the play was going to be staged. Um, that was really the jumping off point for me and my design and my work. You can expect a lot of beats, a lot of music. Um, the entire play is over music. Unlike a regular musical, there's not just songs and then in between there's speaking. In, in this form, it's much more like opera because there are bigger songs and then in between is still over music and in rhyme the whole time. Just being able to work with Jackson and Jay, and I feel like this is what I needed in this time of my, you know, my education, just being able to have fun and also be big and large and not feel like you're being judged for it or when you make a mistake, it's all part of the process to the building blocks to creating an actual character that's entertaining and both truthful. The finished product doesn't come without the ensemble and without everyone that's working and I think our ensemble has just been <clears throat> a group of people that really not only does the work but supports everyone else at the same time. It's so like refreshing and very comforting and supportive like it's not like overbearing, it's like very laid back and chill and I never feel like I have to worry about anything. Performing with the Q Brothers is, uh, the best way I can put it, it's mesmerizing. Um, they have a very unique style in which they do theater in their own art form. We just had to learn to fail over and over again and I think that was the best thing that I've learned so far as an actor, is being able to fail and keep going and not, and it, it makes you fearless in a way. And I think that was the best thing, just like right off the bat, that you had to learn or you wouldn't be able to do the work. The talent level here has, has been really the best uh, of any place that I've taught yet. Uh, I'm just like incredibly impressed with, this, with the skills, just the natural skill set. And dealing with people of this age with that many skills, they also, um, they're directable too. Um, and they were able to adjust. And over the course of these five weeks, they really, learned the form and dove in and got vulnerable and broke down, I feel like, a lot of barriers they may have had prior to that. And I think they're gonna emerge more confident, more secure humans from this experience, you know?